Hi there, this is Dr. Bill White again with the American Orthodontic Society and uh, today I want to just talk about some of the problems that we come across uh, doing orthodontics on people and uh, it kind of remind me of a guy that was telling his young man says well if you live you're going to have problems and that is so true. I mean we have problems with everything that comes up. Seems like there's a nothing just is easy and and you you run across a few things there but not not as a rule. It's going to require effort on your part to deal with the problems that you come across. And so I just wanted to talk about some of the problems that we have uh, as parents, as, uh, as uh, individuals growing as you get older, your teeth break down and the different things happen and many things can be done to help your, your situation. And I'm going to talk about some of them here, uh, the problems you come across like uh, mouth, I'm going to just mention mouth breathing here, we, we'll go into, uh, let's see, I can't change this, uh, how do I advance this? Oh, okay. It's gonna, let's, I will have to uh, get that out mouth breathing issues. I will take a little thing like mouth breathing and so many people have a mouth breathing problem and they don't realize all the associate problems that go along with mouth breathing. And I, I'm a chronic mouth breather. I have to use a CPAC uh, at night uh, to help out but mouth breathing causes many, many problems and I'm going to mention just a few of these. One of them, if you are a mouth breather, there's no way you can breathe through your mouth without putting the tongue down in the lower jaw. You, you just have to put the tongue down there. I'm going to put a little white deal up here and I'll show you. You'll have teeth on either side of this and you your tongue fits down in between here and your tongue is a big muscle. I mean it goes way well on down the neck and I have this lady that had a cancer of the tongue and they took her whole tongue out and bless her heart she couldn't You'd open your mouth, she couldn't chew or eat anything here. If she bit it in two, the tongue's not there, it would just go in the stomach. And I had the dickens of time straightening her teeth up and being so careful not to drop anything because if you dropped it in there, she ate it. You had to go down and get it somewhere or another. So uh, this is a problem. If we breathe through our mouth. In other words, the air is going through here and uh, normally your upper teeth fit over your lower teeth kind of like that. In other words, the upper tooth is on the outside of the lower tooth. Now the upper tooth kind of catches the cheek in here and if you're a mouth breather chronically, the tongue isn't up here in the vault of the mouth pushing it apart and making it grow properly and everything, it's down here. So it puts pressure on these teeth in the bottom arch and the person will grow until the teeth are hitting kind of cusp to cusp and that doesn't go very good as far as chewing is concerned if you're just spread out part of the way then you try to chew on the cusp, the person will slip their jaw to one side or the other and have the cusp of this cusp go up in here. Now the lower 
the tooth is over that way and it's over this way on the other side. So you'll have a bilateral crossbite or you have a unilateral, both bilateral, you'll have a bilateral if you let both sides go out like that. Now this happens, I don't care who you are, if you breathe through your mouth all the time or enough to do it, you will push those teeth out on the side. You will develop crossbites. Well, what happens when you uh, develop, if you start eating on one side of the mouth, I say over here, then it's going to push this condyle will be sitting back in here some way or another, and it's going to be in the fossil, and it will be pushed in this direction. So this will, this condyle will be doing the same thing coming over here, and so your chin moves to one side a little bit, and there are a lot of people like that. You look at it, that form. So this is another problem where the jaw joint comes over. If you pull your jaw to the side and hold it there enough, the jaw will grow to that position. And now you're that way. Then from then on, when you chew from one side to the other, it'll go to one side easier than the other side. And that affects the way you chew the rest of your life. I mean, everything. Good. Not only does if you get the teeth if the upper tooth is closing directly over the lower tooth like this, your cheek will some way get into here and you bite your cheek. And I'm always biting on my cheeks. I have to think, well, when I'm eating, I try to keep a little food out here to keep my cheek from getting in this uh, space right there. So you've got a problem that develops by biting your cheek. In other words, it leads on to that. Now the mouth breathing also causes several other things. If you breathe through your mouth, I'm going to go back now to another screen like that. You don't go through the, the nasal openings if this is your your nose, that's not a very good nose. But there are little silica all in the nose. There are just five little cloths in the air. These stay wet all the time. If you're breathing through the mouth down here, your tongue and the roof of your mouth, and it'll get so dry and hard, it'll just be, you wake up at night and you feel like you're you know, your mouth is full of leather or something, you can't you know, lubricate them and get it. So your nose, human, uh, moistens the air going in here and prevents it from drying out. And this keeps moist, moist air coming into the lungs down below, help carry the oxygen and the carbon dioxide and stuff out of the lungs and get it away much better than if you uh, let it get dry and go down. So the, it humidifies the air. It also filters the air that's coming through here. So the mouth breather does not filter the air going through there. So that's another problem that develops. I've had a uh, little kid was having real problems with his lungs and he was breathing through his mouth all the time. Well, we expanded the palate and we increased the airway and he was able to get air through the air passage and his lung problem went away. So orthodontics can be associated with heart trouble, with uh, lung problems, all sorts of problems, and they all kind of fit together. So you want to try to keep everything functioning properly. If you want to stick around this old world long enough, you know, to do that. And even with uh, problems, you can still 
I'm just an example of living. I never dreamed I would live this long, but I, I'm still going. You see, so I've worked on them some. Now we get, uh, if you breathe through the mouth, you're, you breathe all sorts of junk in through the mouth and they don't get them filtered out. And so you have problems with that. The humidity uh, moistens this, it helps it better. If you breathe through the nose, you will have to suck a little bit so you get air going in fast. And this air going through the nose will go into the lungs and go out into the little alveoli better. And people who breathe through the nose will have a higher oxygen content in the blood than those that breathe through their mouth. And you can check that out with kids in school and stuff like that. You got this kid that's sitting over there breathing through his mouth and and you look at him and a lot of times they they don't look as bright as they would and I've had that problem <laughs> problem too. So you uh, breathing through the nose helps in that respect. Now, the allergies that people have, a lot of them is brought on by uh, lack of nursing. Uh, maybe a child is born from a cesarean and he, they never, maybe never get the breast milk that has a colostrum in it that helps them prevent problems they have with their uh, allergies and things like that. So this is another problem that comes about. In other words, just breathing through your mouth causes all sorts of things to take place. We, we're having a little problem here. I'm going to have to pause. I'm sorry to say we're making a room below us right here that we'll be able to put all these records that we've had over the years and have them alphabetical in this room. And if somebody questions something that we're doing here, I'll have the records, the written records in an envelope and the models and everything else down here where you can look them up and you can see exactly what was done, when it was done, and what problems we had with it. If somebody is interested in this, let us know. You can come to Glen Rose. We can have the air, there's a service that will pick you up at the airport, bring you out here. There's a hotel. I can sit here and look at a hotel from the ranch. You can walk to about three or four hotels around a small hotel, but they are nice. And you can meet and, and come here. And if you want to do that, uh, let us know. Uh, we're fixing this up, and I hope that somebody will use it. And I want you to write us out, just, you know, ask questions. What? I can't look at you and talk to you. I don't know who the heck I'm talking to. But let me know and we'll try to answer whatever it is that questions come up to you. We'll try to do that and put it on the YouTube where you can get to it. This is a fabulous thing. I couldn't write a book. I couldn't possibly get all this stuff down in a book. But I'm going to try to cover everything that comes up from, and I've done pediatric orthodontics, adult and then regular orthodontics, and then we've done adult orthodontics as low as anybody was able to come in with a crooked teeth and they wanted to straighten them up. You can look at some of these cases that we have, and I've had people go into their 90s, I never started anybody 90 years old, but I know I could move my teeth, and I'm 94. 
So you can do that. And I'm going to try to come up with as much help as I possibly can. And I want you to feel free. And we'll have to make some charge to do this because it's being pretty expensive for me to build a little place for you to come and study these records. But if you do, we have some 230 or 40 uh, cases that I used in lecture for years. And I'm getting, I think all of those will be available. So I'm going to hush up now and uh, hope that we'll be able to pick up on this video right here. They're working on the place down below me here and it's making a lot of noise. So I'm going to sign off, say thank you for watching, and I hope you will be able to uh, come and visit us. It would be very enlightening to me to be able to see and talk to the people that we have talked to over the internet. So thanks again and I'm going to say goodbye and I'll just close, close this out right now.